Hey everyone, you're here with Mark Bowell at PerfectGardens.com. So over the years, I've always noticed one little thing when growing from seeds that for me, it ends up holding true. Although sometimes I end up being slightly wrong, but for most of the part, it ends up being an early indicator whether it's a male or a female plant. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. First off, do you see how this plant's growing? And it's not growing straight up. It kind of is a little bit curved right here. And this one too. It started to grow up, but then it started to kind of bend and be a little squiggly right here. Started to do its own nature. But then over here, you can see how this one's growing. It's kind of like just growing straight up. No curving. Same one over here. This one's a little early to tell. Well, I'm going to make an early prediction that this plant's going to be male. These two plants will be female right here. Why? It's because I've always felt that the feminine and male energy is either like a square, rigid viewpoint or it's a circular viewpoint. A woman or a feminine energy being circular and a male energy being structure or like square. Also, to kind of not be a little vulgar, this plant, when it's growing just straight up and it's not kind of curving all over the place, that I kind of think about as a male, you know, like, ah, oh, I'm stiff. I am awake this morning. You know what I mean? But these other ones, it's kind of like doing its own thing. It's kind of more creative. Oh, what's over here? Let's go explore that. Let's go see what's going on over there. That looks cool. But a guy... You know, it's like, oh, I have my plan. I'm going in this direction and I'm not going to go anywhere else. I have my plan. I know where I'm going. Don't tell me that I'm wrong. I know that's kind of a little bit weird to kind of think about it like that, but that, that's how I kind of always see these plants. Whenever I see the plant just growing straight up like that, I just think of it as male energy. And whenever I see a plant that's kind of a little bit loose and wants to explore and go in different places, I think of it th that more as a feminine energy. And over the years, I've been able to predict early, early on whether I'm working with male plants or feminine plants and getting those male plants out of the growing environment if I don't want them. Anyways, guys, early prediction. Let's see if I'm right at the end of this growing season. Love to hear your comments below on what you think and your own experience. Have a great grow, everyone.